everyone, I decided to make a video to show my trip because uh, that's more entertaining than me just sitting in front of a slideshow. Uh, Steve invited me to go to Budapest with him, which made me very excited because I had never been to Europe before. And I am extremely grateful for him for giving me this opportunity. So thank you, Steve. Um, I decided to make a video of packing because I think those videos are so satisfying. So as you can see here, I'm packing my backpack. I had already packed my suitcase before I made that decision, so that's already packed and ready to go. Um, I had managed to pack everything in my carry-on and my backpack for the whole week trip. Here we go! We made our way through the airport and managed to have a little bit of extra time, which gave us the opportunity to go to the Delta Sky Club. Uh, super fancy. I've never been before. It was very exciting and it was indeed very fancy. As you can see here, we had to check in before we could um, actually go up, uh, just so that they could make sure that we did indeed have first class tickets. Um, but once we got past that, we made our way upstairs to where they had a buffet of snacks uh, and drinks and um, food for lunch, uh, to which we filled up our plate with everything we could want and ate the delicious food and sat until we had to go for our flight. We had to get COVID tests before we boarded the flight. I got mine a day before Steve tested at the same time, but he didn't get his results back. So we ended up having to get him tested at the airport and the results took a lot longer than they expected. So he was able to board the plane before me and that's why I am uh, walking on the jetway by myself. They served us breakfast and dinner on the plane, so for dinner I had this chicken with um, sweet potato side, a soup and a salad. It also came with um, this cute little dressing bottle as well as some Ben & Jerry's ice cream and then its own little salt and pepper shakers to go with it, which I thought was pretty fun and cute. Um, and then for breakfast I had cracked oats for breakfast um, with some fruit and some jam, uh, which was delicious, as well as some fresh orange juice. Um, along the ride, we got extra snacks as well. We made it to Amsterdam. And we're just waiting to the plane. Didn't sleep. But that's okay. Our trip through the airport in Amsterdam was nice and quick. We had an escort, as you can see. He took us right through security and customs. We didn't have to wait in any lines. Um, and there was a lot of uh, cool things to see along the way, such as that tree. After a short wait in the airport, we were back on the flight to head to our final destination in Budapest. People smoke in the office. Still? At this point in the flight, we were very tired. It had been a 10-hour trip so far. 
They served us food on this flight as well. As you can see, it was very fancy. Um, it was a box lunch consisting of a lot of European foods, such as the yogurt. It was, a, it was like a Greek yogurt, not sweet, um, as well as having salmon and some other things that I thought were a little bit more European than American. Uh, fancy nonetheless. The bathrooms in the Budapest airport were very weird. They had this weird symbol on the door, um, and the one that I used, at least, didn't have a lock. I could not figure it out. There was nothing connecting the door to the frame of the bathroom. It was very uncomfortable. When we got there, Steve's co-workers Ava and Juji were there to meet us. Ava had rented a transportation van for us for the whole trip, so uh, this is the van that we rode in for a lot of the different destinations that we went to. When we got there, we were a little bit early to check in, so we got to explore the city a little bit. There's this fashion street, shopping street, um, that was a couple blocks behind our hotel um, that we got to walk down. It had a lot of different shops as well as restaurants that we could go to. Um, this is where we stopped at to try t uh, some traditional Hungarian goulash which tasted exactly like some crappy beef stew. Our hotel was very nice and beautiful. My hotel room was uh, very spacious. The bed was comfortable. The only weird thing is it had two bathrooms. One bathroom had just the toilet and then the other bathroom had the shower and the sink. Uh, it was a little obnoxious to go to both. The view just outside of our hotel was very nice and lovely to look at every day. This was the first day there. I woke up and I just started exploring a little bit. There was a um, market, it's called the Great Market Hall. They have all kinds of food there as well as a lot of the souvenir shopping that you might do on a trip um, as well as pigeons walking around. I met Sarah at the market. She is the wife of a co-worker of Steve's. She was willing to show me around the city a little bit. We got on the subway um, and she took me to a restaurant where we got langos, which is just a fry bread with some sour cream, cheese, bacon, and onions on top. And it was quite good, but very, very large. Steve had to work late, so I ended up just walking the streets at night. I felt pretty safe doing so. Um, it was very well lit, as you can see, and very beautiful. I took a bolt, which is the Hungarian equivalent of Uber, out to Margaret Island to meet Sarah to go to the baths there. Uh, along the way, I got to see the beautiful architecture and just kind of enjoy the ride, which was also very cheap. On Margaret Island, they have the baths as well as a couple other places, um, including this Japanese garden, which was very beautiful to walk around. They have really cool sculptures, lots of greenery, and places to sit and think. This is the Palisade Baths where I met Sarah. They had very ornate paintings on the outside as well as some beautiful statues. Uh, once I got inside, they gave me a wristband that I was able to use to uh, lock my stuff in a locker with. And then I went and explored the baths. We did an ice bath as well as a hot bath, a sulfur bath, mineral bath, and we sat in the saunas and the steam room. It was a great time. After the baths, we walked up Margaret Island a little bit further and we rented this cool bike with her and her kids and we just kind of explored around the island for a few hours and it was really fun. We also explored around uh, some old churches as well as the burial site for Margaret herself. On the way home, I took about seven buses going the wrong way on accident, but eventually I made it onto the correct tram and was able to pass the Budapest Parliament Building, which is very, very beautiful and large. The next day I went deeper into the city and um, walked past a lot of great fountains 
and buildings. I was able to get on the Ferris wheel there. Um, it offered some great views of the city. It was very beautiful to look at. Um, it was a good ride, good way to relax after taking such a long walk. I took a break and uh, went into a restaurant for some lunch. It was a Mexican restaurant. I had this chicken quesadilla. Um, most of it tasted pretty fine and normal. The sauce was a little bit different though um, than anything I was used to. My next stop was to visit St. Stephen's Cathedral. Um, very, very massive church, very beautifully built. I was able to go inside and check out the tower. It's a very, very long walk up to the top, but as you can see, it offers some incredible views of the city again. Um, and it was oddly quiet, which was kind of relaxing and made it a little bit more enjoyable. As you can see, this isn't even the top of the cathedral. There's actually a dome um, that goes a little bit higher up. So it's, it's a really, really tall building. I took a video showing how many stairs I had to take to get to the top. Um, it's actually not even all of the stairs. About halfway down, they do offer an elevator that you can take, and, which I did because I was already tired at that point. I ended my St. Stephen's tour um, checking out the treasury, which offered a lot of cool um, artifacts from the time period that the, the cathedral was built. That night, we went to go see an opera, and unfortunately, the Hungarian Opera House is actually closed for renovation, so we weren't able to go there. We did go to a different location where they're having the operas, and the stage isn't as big, um, and the play was a modern adaptation of a, a, an older opera and it just kind of was weird and not as what we expected so we ended up leaving early from that. I ended my day back by the hotel um, on the same street there's this Greek restaurant. I was able to pick up some food and while I waited I could check out the beautiful decorations um, and they also offered me this free dessert. After dinner uh, Steve had to work a little late so we went down to the hotel restaurant and got some hot chocolate and just hung out. So the walk is really pretty, it's quiet, it's like being up in the mountains, uh, smells like it, also kind of eerie because I'm all alone, there's no cars, there's no people, just these big houses and nature. Oh yeah, I took two buses to get here and the last leg of this trek is just walking. So I'm assuming as long as I follow the map, which is not totally filmed me yet, I should get to where I'm going, which is the Children's Railway. Oh, there's an Audi. Sweet. Bye-bye, Audi. Saw a Range Rover. I think this is the wealthy neighborhood. Some of these houses are quite large and they all have gates so I'm assuming that this is where the wealthy live this is another big house oh my gosh it's uphill <gasps> The Children's Railway was very cool and it is run entirely by children and they do know what they're doing which is fun to see. Um, the ride itself was very beautiful, it offered a great sight of the Buddha Hills and it was a great way to relax after walking a long distance. Thank you. After the Children's Railway, I took a bolt down to the Castle District where I 
went to the Holy Trinity statue, which is next to the Matthias Church, um, to start a walking tour of the Castle District. Uh, we were able to walk past a few really cool sites, um, as well as the presidential building where the president resides and works. Um, Buddha Castle itself, I was able to get some good selfies um, and pictures, and it was just an enjoyable walking tour. After the tour was over, I ended up taking a different route to try and get closer to the hotel. Um, and then I went down these really steep stairs. And it doesn't show it in the picture, but they were incredibly steep. That night, we ended up going to dinner with Steve's co workers um, just as a farewell dinner. Um, we got some delicious food. I got macaroni and cheese with truffles in it. First time I've ever had truffles, and it was a very delicious meal. Afterwards, we got pictures in front of St. Stephen's Cathedral, where I had been earlier. The next morning, we had to get tested for COVID, so we went to uh, this rapid test place. It was inside of this beautiful apartment complex or building. Um, Steve couldn't get to it, so they ended up bringing his outside, but I was able to enjoy the views while I waited for mine. Afterwards, we went and got some chimney cakes, which is just... Um, this delicious bread-like thing that they fill with ice cream and you can top it with what you want. Um, mine had almonds on the side and Steve's I think had some coconut and it was pretty good. That afternoon we went to the train station in Budapest. Uh, it's a very big, beautiful building with very ornate details just like most of the city. Um, the tickets were a little bit confusing. We had a hard time with it. At first we thought we needed it to be printed, but they told us we didn't. So then we got the digital copy, but the digital copy was all in Hungarian, so I couldn't understand it. Um, maybe it was even Dutch, I don't know. Um, but we didn't worry about that until we got onto the train. The train was pretty easy to find. They did have people there waiting to help Steve get on. They had a special car um, just for the, the handicapped seating. And... Um, he was able to get on and turns out that that car was first class so we got to enjoy a ride in first class um, on the way to Austria. Once we got into Vienna, um, we went straight to the hotel. Uh, it was a very lovely hotel. It had a little bit of weird things, like this really, really long hallway, um, and the rooms were a little bit smaller, but they were still very comfortable to be in, um, and I still enjoyed it. After we went to the hotel, we um, left and went on a walk to go find some food. We went to a restaurant that the hotel had suggested, and we got to try schnitzel, and I don't even remember what I had, but it was like a corn ham with a whole ton of sauerkraut next to it, um, and these little stuffing cakes, which were actually pretty good. The next morning, after we had breakfast in the hotel, we took the public transportation to the center of the city. Um, the public transportation there was really interesting. It had three sub layers. Um, our train was on the very bottom layer, and so we ended up going down three different escalators to get there. And we got to see a train on the next layer up going above us, which was kind of interesting.
Vienna is a gorgeous city. Again, it has beautiful architecture, um, really old buildings. Some of the roads even still had cobblestone, uh, which was really fun and cool. They had horses and carriages drive down so you could hear what it was like uh, way back when. Um, it also kind of meant Steve had a hard time going across to. While we were waiting for Mozart's apartment museum to open, uh, we saw this big beautiful door and Steve suggested I go check it out and I'm glad that he did because it ended up having some really cool details um, on the inside. It was a courtyard that led to a bunch of different doctor's offices. Um, but they had kept a lot of the original pieces, I think, um, from what we assume was uh, like a horse carriage um, stall or whatever you want to call it. Mozart's apartment was really cool, uh, but they didn't allow photography, so this is the only picture I was able to take inside. After Mozart's apartment, we were able to go check out uh, St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna. Uh, it's very big, very beautiful, a lot more ornate um, than I thought it would be. They had really big organs spanning across the back wall, um, as you can see in the pictures. And then after we checked out the inside of the cathedral, uh, the outside was a little bit of a shopping district, so we did some shopping there. Before we headed to the train station to go back to Budapest, we went into this um, little pastry shop. They had lots of different cakes that you could pick from, and we each picked a cake and some donuts to eat on the train. What could it be? What could it possibly be? It is! It's cake! <laughs> <laughs> the train ride back was very beautiful. Um, they have tons and tons of windmills in Austria. Um, I love that they use that natural power source um, and that we got to see it. We also got to grab some dinner on the train. Um, I ordered some pasta and I thought it was very good. Back in Budapest, um, the train station was lit up and I thought it was very beautiful to see one last time before we left. On the flight home, I got to fly Delta Comfort Plus, whatever you call it, Business Plus. It was very comfortable. I was able to stretch my legs out all the way, um, and I still had all the other comforts, such as a TV and a neck pillow, so it was a very comfortable ride home. I loved Budapest. It was a wonderful trip, um, but I am glad to be home.